What's up? Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Uh, you're watching the MVP Invitational Unseen Games, Unseen Replays between uh, yes, Mr. Jadong. He's the guy we're focusing on today, so let's go ahead and jump back to his vision. Um, this game is going to be a match against Grubby from the MVP Invitational. And it's going to be a ZVP. Grubby has had some interesting results lately. Um, but we're going to have to see what uh, Jadong has in store for us. Indeed we will. Uh, Grubby is one of my favorite players to watch just because, well, I mean, he's he's been around for so long, and the amazing thing about Grubby is there's never been a period where he's, like, not been a top contender in, throughout his history in Warcraft 3 or in StarCraft 2. Oh, I mean, or I guess it took him a little while to get it really into StarCraft 2, but uh, by a little while, I mean, like, several months. Not like it was, not like it was a year or anything like that, but... Uh, and that's so rare for a player to be at the top for so long. Yep. I mean, it shows they're able to constantly evolve with the times, and and it's just I I, I just like seeing that in a player. Yeah, and um, the map here is going to be Ohana, ZVP. So typically, strategies from Protoss, uh, two base all-ins can be very very strong, um, specifically the Immortal all-in. We also see you know good three base pushes, three base um, macro builds on this map that can be very effective. I feel like it's it's more of a Protoss map. Then, then a Zerg map, very, if, if, if very, very slightly, perhaps. Um, but we'll have to see, you know, what Jadong ends up doing here to uh, approach this matchup on this map. Yeah, definitely the mortal one is very, very strong. Uh, I mean, Grub uses that not as extensively as other players, but he definitely is in his arsenal. Uh, and I would not be surprised to see him utilize it on this map here. All right, we'll have to keep an eye on that. He has a Nexus in production. Of course, Jadong does not see anything just yet. Um... His overload is just now approaching his opponent's natural expansion. Doesn't see anything there to wall off, which is something. Uh, this is something a lot of protosses have been doing lately, as far as putting their initial pylon in their main, putting their forge in their main as well. Um, it just uh, helps their economy that much more, and of course they can wall off a little bit later. So, gotta be placing that pylon down, and Jianlong is gonna see that hatchery. So at first, if you see nothing at the ramp, you might think, oh, it's some sort of one base gateway play. But Jadon getting far enough there to see the natural expansion doesn't have to worry about that. Definitely does not. Uh, Grab your opening fairly standard, you know, Nexus, then Forge, then, uh, then Cannon, uh, and so forth. Uh, but both players uh, not showing any inclination to do any shenanigans early game. Alright, two gases here from Grubby, very standard. Jadon adding on a queen, trying to get some map control with these links, taking that fast third. Um, nothing crazy. Uh, happening here. What, what, what's going to be important is, you know, what Grubby ends up getting after the cyber core, what tech he's going to advance up to. Ooh, nice little pick off uh, on that probe. Like, that, that probe is actually so important for the Protoss. Exactly. And one thing, uh, if you guys didn't notice, that what Jadong was doing, which is something I've been trying to tell Zergs you should be doing for a long time, is uh, you can stutter set the Zerg and you get twice as many hits off on that probe. So, actually, you, you often get three hits if you do it really well. So, you know, you have that Zerg in front of the probe. Instead of just letting him do his own thing, the instant he hits the attack with the claws, you right click, uh, and so he moves, the instant after attack animation goes, he's already on the move. Instead of if he's just on attack move, he'll attack, he'll wait for the entire cooldown of an attack, and then he'll start moving after the probe. And of course, uh, he won't get nearly as many hits off. Uh, using this technique, you can, you can actually run down a probe within one or two screens, even with a single surgeon. Uh it's, it's very, very, very... Uh, strong way of, of utilizing it. It's similar to start with the Marines or, or Stalkers. It's a little trickier because you have to kind of guess which way the probe is going to run. And it's um, it's really cool to see here Jadong really uh, has plans for all of his units here. Like his early link, sure, clearing that probe. And now they're taking down these rocks, um, which is really important to clear those rocks out so you can have access to that third base. If your opponent potentially engages that third, you want to be able to reinforce as fast as possible, so it's nice to have those rocks down. Um, and we're going to see him start uh, spreading that creep. Already has one creep tumor on the ground. Um, meanwhile, keeping an eye on his opponent's gases at his na uh, at his opponent's natural expansion. And it looks like I think he's sending an overload into the main at this point. Or it might just be chilling there. Just chilling there for now. That's an interesting spot for an overlord. Yeah, it's uh, it's far enough away that if a stalker came, he could get out of range of it mm -hmm. without dying. Um, but it's close enough that he can kind of get a little bit earlier. Uh, I guess kind of not, you know, figuring he'd be safe there for the short term. Now he's trying to scout out what's going on. Uh, let's see if he'll get in there and see if there's a robotics or not. 
Uh, it's gonna let his over get. I like he has over it's like it. So you can go up on him and macro, and then once over it gets low, like it is now, now he's gonna go look at it and see what it can see. But uh, a lot of players will jump to that immediately, and it'll just kind of stare at the screen there. Where Jedong's gonna be a little bit more efficient with his vision, right? He only jumps to it when there's actually something to see. As long as he gets to it before it dies, uh, that's really what's important. And now he's able to see that that robotics. It's gonna cost him two overlords though, so uh, not always clear if that was worth it or not. And seeing the robotics at this point, I, I feel like it's it's it, it can still be pretty hard to tell what your opponent is doing because they can either be, oh, okay, they're taking a fast third, getting an early observer out, oh, okay, they're going for an more all in, or oh, they're gonna go for some more prism play. And the grubby here is doing is doing more prism, and I'm not necessarily sure Jadong was able to identify that based on what those overloads saw. Uh, I mean, he he definitely was was probably. Well. Uh, I mean, he, he saw the Nexus is building probes late enough in the game that it, it's not a two-base mortal land, most likely, so... Uh... I mean, that that puts War Prism as something he should consider, for sure. Uh, and, and being Jinong, I think he will. Uh, it also could just be a little bit of a later two-base immortal Tony, maybe. Um... I mean, I think he, if, if it was... The, the fast one is moving out now, but there's no way you, uh... You can move uh, an attack that fast if you don't cut probes. So, uh, I, I think Jadong has a pretty good idea what's going on at this point. Oh, no. War Prison Speed being researched by Grubby. That's oh, really no. interesting to see how Jadong reacts to, to such a uh, annoying tactic, you could say, from the Protoss. I like uh, the placement here from Jadong on his overlords. At the bottom side of the map, he pr he's pretty much covering any potential airspace. Like, if a unit moves over there, he's going to see it. And he also has an overlord in like the top right-ish area, so if War Prism tries to go that way, he'd be able to see it as well. And... He has both watchtowers in his control, so um, Jadong has a lot of vision here, and now he's going to try to engage in the third base. The warp is just going to jet across the map. Let's see how Jadong reacts. <laughs> Looks like he's on the retreat. Uh, no, he's decided, okay, I don't need my full army to defend it. Uh, I like what he's doing. He, he's, he's anticipating Grubby taking a third behind us, and he was looking for that probe snipe, but that cluster roaches. That's something that's really cool, because, I mean, the probe snipe is just one probe, but it might slow the expansion by 20 seconds. You have to bring out another probe, and, and that's kind of annoying. And, I mean, of course, he backed away, because he wasn't going to get it without losing a lot of roaches, but a uh, nice little uh, attempt there. And, of course, defending this war prison ramp without a problem. Yeah, targeting down the, the war prison with those queens is a very nice tactic. Um, behind this, Grubby is going to take a third base. This is a, this is actually a build I do against Zerg. This is like one of my standard builds, going for the fast warp prism of mortals. Transitioning into Colossus. I think we actually talked about it recently. We did. Um, but Jadon going to try to counterattack right away. Great force shields there from Grubby. Um, Maybe let a few too many roaches in. It's just ah! taking significant sentry losses. And, I mean, losing sentries if your opponent's going in faster is okay. If they're going mass road Zerg, it's not. The Colossi missteps as well. Oh, the Zergians are angry. Ah, I, I'm wondering. Ah, oh, Grubby. Yep. I, I, I think it was pretty much over there. As long as Jadon kept rallying in. He lost too many sentries, lost the Colossus. Uh, he wasn't going to really be able to hold the, the continued rally Zerg. Uh, especially, I mean, it, it was 11.20, uh, and Jadon, basically, he would have been maxed if he didn't lose a bunch of units, so... Uh, that, that's not a situation that Protoss wants to be in. Just unfortunate circumstance there for Grubby. I mean, his sentries overextended a little bit too far. Coming, yes. I, I, I don't think there's really a reason to go that far with your sentries. Um, you just want to keep your third safe, so keeping your sentries back here. Well, the Zerg's teching fast. You can try to scare them into thinking you're going to go out and kill them. Mm. But, I mean, he saw all the Lings and Roaches yeah. in his war prison. Yeah, so. he, he shouldn't have done that. It was just a little bit of a... And then a misrella on the Colossus. was. Yeah. That's, that's no fun at all. But uh, nice awareness there from Jadong. Keeping that, that war prison from doing too much damage up here in the north. And then, um, you know, having the initiative to, to actually counter right away and, and tech, uh, take those units off guard. Um, so, guys, that uh, concludes the game number one between Jadong and Grubby. Coming up, it's going to be game two from Jadong's perspective. You're watching never-before-seen uh, replays from the MVP Invitational. Tonight, we're covering Jadong, so stay tuned.